Okay, I think we're just about ready. Um, so I know some of you are here tonight uh, for our next piece. Um, we all know the tragedy that took place uh, back on September 11th after a marching band competition um, on the way home with Ryan McCutcheon. And um, shortly after that happened, one of the first questions I asked myself was what is an appropriate way um, for the students here at Hampton to respond. And um, I immediately thought of, well, let's, let's commission a piece in his memory. Um, for those of you who might not be familiar with how a commission works, um, when, if, if and when a commission is published, um, on the top of every part and at the top of the conductor score is a sentence, and usually program notes, as you can see in your program tonight, um, explaining how the piece came to be. And um, so the idea of Ryan's name living on forever in the percussion world and in the music education world, um, I thought would, would be very appropriate. Um, and so over the past couple of years at um, some uh, competitions we've been at, um, I've loosely gotten to know Chad Heine, and he was always very nice to us <laughs> and very friendly and um, very informative and always gave us awesome things to grow um, on. And so I reached out to him and asked him if he um, uh, felt comfortable writing a piece to honor Ryan and his family, and he, um, he said yes. And he's been a um, pleasure to work with. Um, it's been great getting to know him, um, and uh, I think you're gonna really enjoy what he has um, composed for Ryan and for his family. Um, Ryan was um, an incredible uh, person. Um, sadly, I only got to know him for about six months. But in those six months, um, as far as a staff member, as far as a mentor to the students here in Hampton, um, he was incredibly respected. Um, the students loved him, they adored him, um, because he, he brought everything to the table. He was able to model everything that he asked the students to do. His uh, humility, his character were top notch, and um, he was incredibly professional, professional beyond his years. And um, it's been a uh, moving experience working on this piece. I wanna thank Mr. Deskin, who did the bulk of the rehearsals. Um, I actually got to play at most of the rehearsals. Um, uh, I was filling in for Mr. Hickley, who's our fun ensemble instructor and close friend of Ryan who is here from Grove City to uh, perform with us tonight. Um, before we perform the piece, um, I'd like to present um, Bob, Dana, and Brett with a score um, of Beacons of Light. Uh, all of the performers behind me have signed it, and um, we would like to present this to you, where I think I saw you guys. <laughs> a little bio of him in the program, um, but just very briefly, he is a teacher in the Kiski Area School District as an assistant high school band director and percussion specialist across the district. Um, he did his um, undergrad at IUP and a master's in percussion performance from LSU. And again, like I said earlier, it's just been a privilege and a joy to get to know him and to work with him. So at that, I'd like to introduce Chad Heine and the high school percussion section.
Yeah. <laughs>